All right, it's 100 degrees in here. Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to attempt to make as many original sound design presets as I can in one hour. I do believe that sound design is what allows you to find your sound signature and become a unique producer. So after trying this challenge for melodies, I thought we would do the same for sound design. The plan is the same. I will have five minutes to make a preset, save it, and go to the other one. I will try my best to make some different type of presets, so chords, basses, leads, plugs, pads, and we'll see how it goes. Let's go. All right, so we're now in Logic Pro. I also loaded my template that I have so that I have Serum all ready to go. I also have my MIDI so that I can have, you know, sound to judge the presets <laughs> based on those. Oh yeah, and if you want my template in Logic Pro, the link will be in the description. You can just grab it for free. Well, now I can't delay this any longer, so let's go, five minutes, first preset. Let's go. Okay, so I want to start by a bass. So I definitely want to go lower, not that low. Well, that's it. <laughs> oh, you know what? This one, I don't want it to be plucky. I want to do like a Reese bass type of thing, but I want to give it like some movement. So for this, I'm going to use the LFO. No. That's basically what I wanted, so... I gotta be subtle. Okay. Let's add a sub. Let's get some distortion. Because I like the portamento idea as well. I think I like that one as a Reese. And I still have a minute. What can I do with it? I wanted to see if I can find another shape here. You know what? I'm gonna keep with the same one. Try and go see another one here. And try to bring it here. Yeah, to bring some wobbly... Oh, that's it. First one done. I'm gonna just remove that and just save this. Uh, Moody Reese. Boom. Next one. All right, for the next one, I want to try and go for more of a plucky bass. Now, how do I do that? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. It's not what I want, but it was cool to try. <laughs> I think there was a trick here. Sustain zero, decay, boom. And it goes to cut off that. That. I want to give it like a transient or something. That. That's cool, like that. I'm kind of just going with the ear and just being like, oh, I like that, you know. <laughs> ah, there you go, because I needed this. The noise needed to be in the filter to get more of that. Okay, let's see now if I can try and bring what I wanted, like bringing some texture from another um, wavetable. I'm not sure with the name of stuff. I'm just going with the ear. So. It's pretty cool. See some, no, distortion. Oh yeah, that. Bit too much, but. Oh, I like that. I don't know. I think for like a future bounce, future house, maybe tropical house. I don't know. Could be cool. Just gonna make 
make sure to remove the very sub. Oh, I didn't launch the five minutes. Okay, 20 seconds left. Oh boy, <laughs> very good. But I like this. Yeah, I think I like it. I'm gonna stop here to make sure I'm in the five minutes. How do we call this one? Bass plucky. Plucky. All right, next. And we're starting the timer now. All right, now for this one, what do we do? Guys, what do we do? You know what? I'm gonna change the wavetable first. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I wanted something a bit more aggressive because uh, we did a nice smooth one, a plucky one. So maybe let's try to do a more aggressive one. Uh, gotta reduce this to not kill your ears. Oh, oh, that's because there's this. Sure, let's do the portamento as well. Okay, less. How do I... Uh... I need some texture in there. Um, maybe I'll try the same trick. I don't know if it works. Or actually first, let's do distortion, that diode thing. Whew, this is, uh, this is aggressive. Oh, you know what? Maybe let's do an LFO if I can do it like two, 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 two. Uh, how do I do that? It should go to the level. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of like a side chain, or what is it? Oh, getting there. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right thing. <gasps> That's kind of what I wanted, though. Ooh. Um, mm -mm. Oh, what's that? Oh! Oh, that's cool! Can we get the same here? Yeah. How long do I have? 40 seconds. Maybe let's do an EQ. I think that's it for that one. All right. Okay, bass is done. Let's move to the chords. All right, chords, let's do it. Okay, so it's gonna be horrible right now. Eh. Okay, so I saw a trick that Martin Garrix, like just to start with, does eight and just detune everything. There you go. That's it. Okay, like that. Um, <laughs> what else? No, let's try and add something else. Oh yeah, more support, okay. Hi, let's do, yeah, this, more support. Okay, it's pretty decent chords. Let's see what we can do here. <gasps> I have an idea. I want to put, how do I do that? I want to put, uh, what is it? The flanger, how do I put it in the LFO? So LFO one, going to FX. <gasps> flanger, is there something like flanger? Oh, flanger. What? Maybe that? I don't know. Oh, it does do something. Experimenting is fun, to be honest. It gives it some character, you know, a little bit like something, so it's pretty fun. I, I have no idea in what context you could use something like this, but it's fun. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, compressor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's clean that. Oh yeah, there you go. That's 
I get rid of it like this. That's it. Well, I like that one. All right, next one. Let's go. Let's try and do like a feature based thing. No, because it, it has like this screechy end, high end. Okay, maybe a noise on the top. I'm not gonna change this because that's good for that, I think. Very majestic. I think that's how I'll call it. Let's put some reverb. Oh wait, I want some compression. I don't know what to do. That's cool. Not like a big saw, so it's nice. Can I clean the high end? There you go. All right, well, that's it. Could be a support, you know? Chords, I'm gonna call it majestic. All right, next, last chord. Oh yeah, for the last chord, let's try and do something more plucky with like a bit more attack or I don't know, we'll see. Let's go. Okay, what do we have? Okay, let's do... Let's do the same trick. Hmm... Maybe this one... Okay. I'm going on with more. Yeah. No. Let's try and find something more interesting. Maybe it's the same thing. And I need it here too. Yeah, that's what gives you this attack transient thing. Interesting. Hmm. Oh boy, that's it. That's not really what I wanted. Okay, that's it for the chords. Let's do some pads now. And one thing I want to do for the first one is I think to take this one. Yeah, I want to take this preset here, chords majestic. And the idea is just to start from this one and just modify a couple things to make it a pad. So first thing I think, oh wait, would be to turn on the timer. Let's go. And change the attack. I think this is more the shape of a pad. And I want to do the cutoff. I want less unison. And we're starting to arrive to a pad. Yeah. Pretty good towards where I wanted to go. Okay, that's a basic shape. But because we have time, let's see if we can give it something else. Maybe another type of noise that's, that exists? Oh, 
we're experimenting. Oh, that's nice. But I wanted to have something like big, majestic, same type again. I think that's what I want. Just a little bit. I'm just experimenting here, touching all the knobs and see what it does. Really. Oh, I wanted to also do this like that. I have an idea, bear with me. the idea. Oh, that's it. Let's call it the same pad majestic. Next one. All right. And let's start the timer now. Now what do we do? Same problem as always. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. for that pad. For now I'll do, let's see what we can do. I'm definitely right now discovering that. You have different position. All right. Oh. Like, I feel like it's almost an organ pad. Oh, I need the shape of a pad. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try and come here to the, almost do the same. Uh, but a bit different. Let's do the opposite. Seconds. <gasps> Reverb. Something like that. And that's it. Let's call it pad organ. All right, let's do the leads now. Oh yeah, two leads, two plugs. That'll be a good amount. Oh, this challenge is literally making me sweat. All right, first lead, a good old progressive. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Not the best, but we're gonna do better. Let's do the effects.
Eh, it depends, you know what you want, but... Something like that. Let's try and add a little transient. Hmm. This is not what I want. Hmm. Oh boy, that's it. I think leads are definitely not my, my strong suit. <laughs> All right, that was bad. Next, let's go. Let's try already by changing. Oh, this can almost be like a whistle lead. I don't know, it gives me that idea, but no idea whatsoever how to execute it. Oh, honestly, I'm going to experiment here because it's something new that I'm discovering here. One eternity later. Abort, abort, abort mission. No, this one's going to be a fail. Um, my brain is fried and melting right now. <laughs> I think we're going to say it was five minutes because that's enough torture. Oh, okay, fail on this one. Now let's finish with two plucks. Start now. Okay, pluck, 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 pluck. A good start. Now, I want to delay thing. Hmm. I'm getting an idea. Hey! There you go. Like, um, I don't know the name of that instrument. Is it like a um, Japanese or Chinese instrument? Like a string instrument, something like that? Maybe I'll, I'll pop the image here if I, if I find it again, what I have in mind. That's what I wanted. Not that. That could be a cool layer for like a chill, tropical, um, song. Okay, I'm happy with my preset. You know what? That's it. I like it. I keep it. All right, next one and last one. Go. Maybe let's try to do like a bell if I figure out how to do that because I have literally knew, no idea. <laughs> okay, let's try and find. Ah, I was thinking maybe a triangle shape would work and crazy that it is actually going towards what I want. I think it's really fun to learn and experiment with sound design. All right, delay to get me in the vibe. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Let's try and get that transient in as well. Oh, it's not this one I want. I want bright white. Oh, that's nice. Oh! Even more uh, bell music box type. 
Maybe a bit less, yeah. Well, I think that's a bell enough for me. Two, one, boop. boom! That's 12 presets in one hour. Those are intense. Those are intense, but I feel like I learn so much every time I do those one hour, five minute challenge. It's insane. Like, I think it's a great exercise that you can do as well. Well, that was another interesting challenge. Anyways, I hope that you like this little video challenge. As always, feel free to do it yourself and let me know how it goes for you. Now you can watch this video here if you missed the one where I do the same challenge for melodies and chord progression. But in the meantime, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one.